What's up, good people? AKA winners. That's how we do. A. Hey, that's how we do. A. Hey, a. Hey, a. Hey, a. Hey, hey. I'm coming to you with another video. A. Hey, coming to you with another video. Vicky, Vicky, that's how you getting this morning. You guys, my cup says coffee in one hand and confidence in the other. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know it has been forever in a day since I filmed a video before I went into the office? Like seriously, but because I haven't filmed in like two weeks, baby, um, I said I had to film this morning. Otherwise, we're going to go another week without a video. So what I'm going to do is um, my eyes are a little puffy. They should go down a little bit, you know, after my coffee. And then also I am going to put some concealer on. And today I'm going to put some lashes on. But, you know, I want to be able to see clearly what I'm doing on today. So I don't want to have to do this part without my glasses or contacts. So. I just said, baby, we're going to take them glasses and y'all going to come with me throughout the day and we're going to see what happens, baby. I'm using this Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in Chestnut, which is one of the shades of foundation that I love. I forgot that I had this actually because I don't like to use it under my eyes because it's too drying. Um, it's just a little bit too matte for me. But then... Um, I just, you know, I was watching Jackie Ina's video on her new palette, which I will be, you know, doing a video on that soon. And she was using that on her lid and I said, girlfriend, thank you. I was like, why didn't I think that this would be the bomb for my eyes? Because like it dries and it mattifies and ooh, I got bars. And I was like, why don't you use it for that? So it totally made sense. So <laughs> thank you, girl. Thank you. I got a pamphlet from Urban Decay about a foundation that was going to be coming out really soon. And it is called um, Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. And that is what it looks like. Do not be deceived because, yes, your girl used this once already. I totally did. But I went to church and church was blazing. And by the time church was over, I had mascara like all right there. And... I was like, yeah, I can't even take a picture. So we're just going to talk about it today. Now, you guys know that Urban Decay All Nighter is, and you see, it's pretty much gone. This is what I took to Vegas because this is definitely a holy grail. But I have this bomb new concoction, y'all. And if y'all want to see it, this is what I rocked. If you like actually take a look at my Instagram, Seeky underscore beauty, that this is the foundation I rocked like when I got my awards, when I walked the stage, when I did all that in Vegas, even in like that heat, which was really crazy. But I mixed these two together. It was the Fenty Beauty Foundation as well as the Urban Decay All Nighter. So I was like, I'll put them together and baby, that's the best thing I could have ever done in my life. So anyway, onto this foundation, I ended up swatching them in the store and I do believe that I got the perfect foundation. I believe this is the perfect shade, but this is 70 WR. I did not look it up to see what WR means. I really did not. So maybe I can look that up, you know, um, later on today when we're doing our little check-ins and stuff, but I'm thinking that the W is for warm and maybe the R is for red, which is interesting because I usually don't do red. Flexible, breathable, real skin, matte finish, medium buildable coverage, does not transfer. Y'all know how I feel about that word. Minimizes the appearance of pores. I didn't even check that out um, when I wore it the last time. Stay true color. It's waterproof and it's vegan formula. It does not contain animal derived ingredients or byproducts. Come through Urban Decay. And so I'm just going to set um, cause I'm not doing like an eyeshadow or nothing. I'm just setting this with the powder that I use. Oh, and then I'm using this new Too Faced mascara. Too Faced know how to do the daggone thing with mascara. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is called Dang Girl. <laughs> That's not really the name, but you know what I'm saying. But I'm going to try this, this um, other experiment too, but let me pop on these lashes. Baby, I'm like, you, I'm, I'm 50% woke maybe 60 and for work i do not do brows because who has time for that hopefully i can make it throughout the day without putting on my glasses because uh lashes and glasses are annoying to me okay so let's get started so now what i'm gonna do is i've been loving this primer y'all i cannot stop using it it is the it cosmetics um your skin but better primer and it's oil free and it has that new like grip technology a hey, bars a hey, a hey. coffee's working a hey, 
Hey, wake up. Hey. Okay, so I'm not going to correct under my mouth per the use, but I am going to correct under my eyes because even if I don't wear foundation, I will literally just correct under the eyes to give me that, you know, that youthful look by just canceling out this discoloration right here. So, yeah, whenever, honestly, whenever I wear contacts, that's what I do. And another thing that I was using while I was in Vegas to help my foundation stay is um, the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist, which I really like. Y'all see that? And then I was using the Urban Decay Cherry All Nighter Spray. And I will go on top with this because this kind of, I don't know, brings everything together. It's more like a mist. And then I went on top of this to kind of make it stay. When I asked the lady at Sephora, I was like, so how do you like this foundation? She was like, I love it. I said, because I am an Urban Decay All Nighter girl. I absolutely love their foundation. And she was like, well, it's similar. It's just that it's lightweight. And honestly, when I tried it that one day, I told y'all, like on Sunday, it was lightweight and I freaking loved it. It does give you a nice amount of coverage. You see, I didn't correct or anything, but I do feel like um, it's not as full as the Urban Decay All Nighter, but the, um, the, not the texture, but the formula is very nice. It's not as thick. I love, y'all know, I love thick and creamy foundation. To me, I mean, this is kind of creamy, but it's not super thick. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you see, it's just like, it has less weight to it. Like the Urban Decay All Nighter, which I would do a sample for y'all, but um, I told you mine's almost gone and I love that stuff. So I'm not about to waste that right now. And for brows, we didn't do the whole, you know, beat brows, right? I just put on some um, this right here. It's just a brow pencil. It is the Makeup Forever in number 40. I am going to use the Juvia's Place Concealer and this is in um, number 11. I'm really not trying to do, you know, like a highlight. I'm just trying to conceal and brighten a little bit. But it's similar to my skin color. Similar. Okay, so now I'm going to do one eye how I usually do it. And then on this side, I'm going to try a different technique. Okay, so let's blend this out, blend it out and blend it out. Now, this is the technique that I saw on the video. She basically took some setting spray, right? Which we're going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is cherry scented, but if you have a regular one, that's fine. And she actually sprayed, let me see. She actually sprayed the beauty sponge, right? So spray the beauty sponge and then now this is supposed to set the concealer. Okay. So I'm doing that and I'm going to see if this makes a difference. She said she was a professional makeup artist too. And I love learning tips and tricks from other people as well. Cause you never know. Okay. So we let that dry a little bit. Now we're going to set that with powder. So we're going to see, Ooh, Ooh, Ooh. Wow. Let's see, kind of, it was kind of like a little barrier to that, huh? Let's see if it makes a difference. So we're gonna set this foundation. This is how the foundation looks without it being set. As you guys can see, it does give me a little bit of orange because see how it falls down even there? So um, I don't know if it's the lighting, but dang, when I wore it the other day, it looked perfect, but I see a little bit of a, see it's a little bit off. And this CoverGirl powder, y'all, I've been using, I've been going between this and my BH Cosmetics, but I think I've been leaning towards this a little bit more. I really like it. This is what I do. This is how we do it. This is how we do. Okay, when I don't really put on like, you know, highlighter, blush, all that kind of stuff, I just go for the blush copper because it gives me blush and a highlight in one. All right, so this is, this is the final look right here. Um, I am gonna put on some lip gloss and then I'm gonna do some check-ins throughout the day. And right now it is 7.53 and I will be doing an update on this under eye situation because your girl's curious, okay? See you soon. So you guys, I, I love y'all, right? And I'm running late because I love y'all. I, I tried to do, I thought I was gonna be all right. But anyway, it's okay. Everything's gonna be all right, it's all good. But anyway, I put on this blotted lip by ColourPop. I forgot the name of it. I think it's called Scenic Root or something. But anyway, this is the left eye of what I tried with the concealer. Oh, I'm not liking it in the daylight. Girl, I was rushing. And this is the right eye, but this is the foundation. And <laughs> ain't nobody mad, girl. Ain't nobody yeah. mad. This is the foundation, y'all. And I have not blotted not one time. And it is 224. I am getting just a little bit of oil, but baby, listen. <laughs> 619. <laughs> girl, she found the light. So that that little blush I did, mm-hmm, all the way popping. 
but you see this right here i am beginning to get a little oily but look at i mean girl <laughs> it's just you can really tell when i'm all the way up like earlier it was like way early and i had literally just like kind of opened my eyes but it is 9.35 and I've had this foundation on ever since seven in the morning. Hey, now this is gonna be my second time blotting and I am gonna give you some close upness, some close up itness. okay? Here we go. Hey, once upon a time, no, I'm just kidding. But here we are close up. Now I wanna show you guys the eyes. This is the eye that I do my regular way, which, you know, I was in a hurry, okay? Like real talk, I was in a hurry and I didn't get in there good enough. But anyway, like I can't tell the difference. Actually, I like the way I do it better without the setting spray. Mm, that that's just that that's just the results of it that's just how i feel imo in my opinion okay but i've had this foundation on since like seven o'clock this morning y'all i am I, I love it i do i do like thick creamy foundations but this foundation is bomb like i'm definitely going to be using this foundation like for real it has 50 shades which i didn't tell y'all in the beginning it's designed with nine shade intensities three master tones what and seven undertones in mind. This waterproof long wear foundation feels like a second skin thanks to a breathable, flexible formula that moves with you. When it moves, you move. When you move, it moves. Ha! Um, anyway, all day, all night, up to 24 hours. We are not testing it that long. It not only feels better, it even looks better with its stay true color. So that's probably why it's called stay naked because it stays true to its color. Remember earlier when I said that my shade is 70 WR and I, I figured that it meant warm and then red? Girl, your girl was right. It says that 70 is the shade intensity, which means um, mine is dark. That's what 70 is, it's dark. And so the W is warm, that is the master tone, and then red is the undertone, which is very, very interesting because I usually don't go for red undertones. I usually go for that golden or um, not really neutral, but I usually go for the golden or more of a cool. I usually don't go for the, the red because usually the red is too red. But in this case, I can work it out. And you guys see it ended up blending with the neck. I mean, I just kind of, you know, put some powder and then I take my paper towel and kind of wipe over it. But it's it's looking good and it's a win-win and I, I'm all here for it. And guess what? Throughout the day, I did not put my glasses on. What I need you guys to do or what I would appreciate for you guys to do is to go over to my Instagram page, Seeky underscore beauty, and look at my highlights and tell me what you guys want to see because I get all these packages and I'm like... <laughs> Where do I start? Where do I start? What do they want to see? What do they want me to talk about? So you guys help me out, okay? Help your girl out. And oh my gosh, I cannot believe I didn't say this in the beginning of the video, but I would love for you to join the fam bam. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Come on and join the family, show some love. Come on in, let, let us love on you over here. Be a fellow winner, okay? You are always welcome. I know, and I, I've gotten a lot of family members lately. So welcome to the family. You are now a part of the fam bam, okay? So come on in here, stay for a while, all right? And um, I was trying to think of a song, but it's all good. You guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. And I'm going to do my best to not be gone two weeks at a time like that. Because that's not cool and I'll be missing y'all way too much. All right? Bye. Hey, this is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.